But what is this? He's metal. Let's keep on our quest. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. This is the piece that they broke last week and they still have $7.99 on it. That's hilarious. Simply become who you are. Unless you're a jerk, then don't become that. Because that would not be good. Oh, okay. Cut. Oh, you just never know what you're going to find in Goodwill. Well, hello. As you can see, it is nighttime. It's when does it get lighter sooner? When does that happen? Because I'm over it being dark at you know, 5.30 at night. Because it's not that late. But I am at Goodwill. And I am at a Goodwill that I come to fairly regularly. I do really like the managers here. And I like the merchandise that they put out. So I'm hoping tonight is one of those nights that I find some really cool stuff. So come along with me. I am Danny Ackerman the niche lady and I like to show you the things I buy so that you can make better choices about things that you buy for resale and we just have a lot of fun doing it so without further ado let's get shop done all right open 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 Ooh, two open open opens and we're gonna go pick out our lucky cart I see one that's calling to me this one says lucky, lucky, lucky tonight. Let's go. Oh my, these guys are still here. These were here last time. And oh, that's why. That's why they're still here. Um, but I did look up. These could be fairly decent. It is a bookend. So there would have been another one. And this is a bookend. But they're still just a little bit too high priced. But what is this? He's metal. He's like a smelter metal. It's almost like they covered an actual succulent in a metal to make this. It's kind of cool. I feel like that is unusual enough. I know it's got a, just a little bit of, why does it have a, is that a smiley face or am I seeing things? I see a smiley face on that. Is that supposed to be a smiley face? Ah, I'm looking at the damage now wondering. I mean, plants aren't perfect. What do we do? What do we do? I think, I think we put it in the cart. I know, it's a little bit of an odd purchase. I may, I may rethink it. I may rethink it. I wish you guys could speak to me through the screen and advise me a little bit better on that piece. It's just, if it wasn't damaged, I'd have no, I'd have no reservations. It's the damage that's kind of causing me a little concern. This looks like an older doll. I don't know why I'm finding so many dolls lately. But I am. And usually I don't really give too much look to dolls because I'm a little bit of a doll snob. I collect the antique bisque dolls, so um, newer dolls are just not that appealing to me. I am always a candle, okay. But this product can expose you to chemicals, including lead. And lead compounds. Well, gosh darn it. Why? 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 Plus it's a just... Okay, that's a mess inside. We're going to leave it. But this purple vase here, in the shape of like a rose bowl, it's kind of nice. It's a cheap glass though. Chipping on the rim. We're going to leave that one. We are going to look at this little dish. Nothing too exciting. A little lamp. Kind of cute, but not so cute at $12.99. It's too bad. Too bad. I might have picked that up at a little bit lower price. All right, let's, uh, let's keep on our quest. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. This is the piece that they broke last week and they still have $7.99 on it. That's hilarious. I was willing to pay that when it was uh, not broken. It was the it was actually the clerk that pushed it off the uh, counter and broke it. I'm not sure who these guys are. Anybody know who these guys are? Are they Skylanders? Oh yeah, to say Activision. 
I don't know who those are. I don't know. And this piece is still here as well. Red tagged at 15. It's just, um, I'm pretty good at predicting what's going to sell at those prices and what's not. So they'll, they'll have that one for a while. Or it'll end up going to the bins. But look at this. Look at this birdhouse. It is a tiki bar birdhouse. That is absolutely fabulous. Beach birdies welcome with a little tiki guy on the top too. Please don't be like $100. <laughs> $14.99. Oh, $14.99. Oh, the struggle is real. I mean, I feel like I could get easily, I could get $25, maybe even $30 for this. And that's not generally the margin that I prefer, but this is just too cool of a piece to leave behind. And then I looked up and there are some little ducky bookends. Those are kind of nice. The wood could use a little work. $5.99. It's not horrible. Not horrible. No damage. They are glued on a little crudely. Mm. I don't know how I feel about those. I don't know. I wish the wood was in better condition. Okay, I, I may come back to those. I may come back to those. And I know I'll end up getting comments if I don't come back to it. And... I will have people going, go back and get that, go back and get that. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if it stays on my mind for this shopping trip. It's possible somebody else could snag it too. You can tell I'm wrestling in my brain. I'm really, really wrestling with whether to put that in the cart or not. These are kind of cute too. Little uh, hand painted in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka. How do you, what's the with the correct pronunciation? See, I like I like these for two ninety nine. I like these. All right, let's see what else we got here. I do like the little pumpkin, but I put my Halloween away. So look at this little guy. He's kind of cute. He's a mud pie, little topiary, little accent. I like him. Do we need him? We don't need him. Do I want him? I do want him. He's a nice little accent topiary piece. Look at me talking myself into him. Okay, this is for personal use. I think that's all I need over here in like the seasonal. Although this is a nice, nice basket. Somebody's put some ribbon on it. But that we don't need. Oh, let's see what's in the wood section. Looks like we're in the wood. Oh, might be in the metals too. We've got a brass sailboat, but it does not feel very well done. And it is $15. Yeah, look at all that glue kind of dripping on there. Just not, not great quality for 15. So we'll pass on that. We'll keep looking. Maybe we just won't put very many things in our cart tonight. That would be fine. Zucker Becker, Beckery. Zucker Zucker Bickery. Tin sign. I kind of like that. I mean, it's, I'm sure it's a reproduction of like an older piece, but I like it. I'm going to put that in the cart. Ooh, that looks has kind of a mid-century vibe going on there. I don't know if all of that would clean up or not. It is mall made in Japan, so it is a vintage piece. $7.99. I wonder if that'll clean up. Hmm. It really, really does have a cool mid-century kind of thing going, but then I spot big damage. And so between the damage and the price, that's why I'm leaving that one. It's this one. Those who bring sunshine to the lives of others cannot keep it for th from themselves. All right. Simply become who you are. Unless you're a jerk, then don't become that. Because that would not be good. I'm afraid there's far too many people in this world that have already gone that path. 
You, you guys know. You know what I'm saying. It's unfortunate that things have gone that way. Why can't we just have peace? Look at this wine bottle holder. It is wood. It is cool. This is all like carved out. I don't see a price on it. Let me turn it around. Oh, $8.99. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. That's like a piece I could put up on my stage and potentially even ship because it's wood. It wouldn't be too horribly hard to find a box to put that in. Ah, huh. I like it. Oh, I see a dolphin. Oh, it's a dolphin uh, bottle opener. Oh, and it also opens caps. So that would tell me it's probably, probably got a little bit of age on it because uh, how many people open that kind of bottle anymore? It did have something written there. I can't make out what it says anymore. It's pretty faded. It's $5, though. Hmm. I feel like this would only sell for 8 to 10 So very hard to pay 5 for it and then sell it for 8 to 10 So we're going to pass. And I do get it wrong sometimes. I sometimes go back and I edit these videos and I say, oh, I really should have picked that up. It was worth more than I thought. And that's okay. I learn somebody else gets a really good deal because a lot of you, you watch the videos and then you go snag those items that I leave behind. And you think, boy, she's crazy. I'm going to go get that. <laughs> and I'm okay with that too. I don't need every single thing that makes money. Perfectly fine, leaving some of it on the shelves. I like the color of these. I don't like the quality of the glass at all. Oh, we got all these little angels here. Put your other little friend up there with you. Let's see if there's anything else fun on the shelf. I see some turkey. Well, they're turkey salt and peppers. We're just like nowhere near turkey time. So uh, I don't want to get turkeys right now. I do want to look at this because this has caught my eye twice now. It has a nice look to it. Not signed. It is nice. But I think I'm going to leave it. Oh my goodness. Look at this guy. He is just not. He's not in good shape, and he's not great quality. I am going to be doing a pig-themed sale coming up. I'm not sure what day yet. I promise I'll announce it when I am. This is kind of fantastic. It's $15. Look at those flowers. Unfortunately, there is some damage, but wow. That's pretty spectacular. If I would pay 15 for that if it didn't have any damage, but the likelihood of finding this without damage is pretty high, but that is cool. And this Madonna is really beautiful. She's got some crazing painted really nicely. There's some wear to the gold tells me she's got some age on her and she's only 3.99. So we will pick that pretty, that pretty Madonna up. A collegiate flag. Oh, University of Oregon. Let's see. What are you? Just a little floof bin? Just a little floof bin. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. It's for holding your floof. Oh, let's see. I do like this pantry sign. Pantry open 24 7. In other words, go find yourself something to eat. <laughs> he's cute. Oh, he's a little whale planner. Look at him. Look at that face. It looks like he might have some age on him, too. He doesn't have a price. I'm sure they'll give me a good price. I hope they'll give me a good price. Let's put him in the cart see what else we got hiding up here. This is somewhat interesting. This little basket with a... It's got a spoon. Spot for the spoon. Arius. I don't know. 
It's not super exciting though. I can't grow strawberries to save my life, but I can have the illusion of growing strawberries. I actually have a tomato plant like this too. So this one's going out in my yard. Look what they have down here. They have a larger version of that porcelain bouquet. I mean, it's just stunning, but it is heavy like you can't believe. I am sure somebody is going to grab these for personal decorating use, and they should. These are absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's see if we have any good mugs tonight. I see a Some Bunny Loves You mug. It's $2.99. Who makes you? I love it. Makes you. It's a very high quality mug. Easter is not that far away. Clean, good for gift giving. We're gonna grab him. Spotted this one too. It's kind of a smaller mug. It's not marked, it's probably vintage. I don't know how I feel about that. I wish I was doing little um, flower scenes again. I would pick that up and make a flower scene out of it, but there is just no time to do that right now. I really, really, really wish there was. There will be, there will be soon. Time is coming, it's just not right now. And I have to remember that not to stock up on stuff because when I'm ready, I'll be able to find stuff. Caribe, Puerto Rico. See, that would be a cute little something too. I'll get there, I will get there. Mystic Seaport. Looking in the glasses for anything that's really a standout. These are kind of kind of cool, but they're newer. I can tell just by picking them up and feeling them. They are not old and vintage. These are cool. They are etched. These are nice, actually. I wish I wish it wasn't so far away from the time when I could sell those. I just don't want to hold on to them for a long time. And I know before you tell me. Christmas sells all year long. It does, but certain Christmas things sell and certain things don't bring the kind of money that you want them to bring for how much hassle there's going to be in dealing with them, shipping them, storing them, all that stuff. You got to take that all into consideration. And then there's Wonder Woman. It's a set of two, not a toy. Like really, hmm, Wonder Woman. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, Wonder Woman. You sold for $5.99 at Ross, but when? When did you sell for that? How long ago did you sell at Ross? I'm looking for a date code on this somewhere. I don't see one. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like maybe these might bring 10, maybe 15. There's also breakfast at Tiffany's with Audrey Hepburn, which are kind of cool too. Now these say 1995. Now these are vintage. Okay, I am definitely gonna pick up the breakfast at Tiffany's, which then makes me kind of think that these are about the same age possibly. That's just where my brain is going. So I'm going to pick up the Audrey Hepburns and I'm gonna pick up the Wonder Woman. All right, let's dig through a little uh, Plates and bowls and dishes. Ooh, paper. <laughs> I know, that's not dishes, bowls, but you know what? We make a lot of signage at the store and uh, we go through a lot of uh, paper. So that's actually a really good score for the store. Who makes you? You are Old Ivory, Syracuse, China. Made in America. It's a really pretty. Ooh, is that Autumn Jewel Hall? You are for 99, actually, it should be half price. That should only be like 50 cents. I'll grab that. That's a very popular pattern. Ooh, that's a really pretty pattern as well. Who's that? Gem China, made in Japan. Look how beautiful that is. I feel like Crystal could use some of these pieces to make some of her amazing 
a little a scenes. Dollar ninety nine. Hmm. It's a little it's a little early to be picking stuff up for Christmas. Otherwise I would definitely pick that up and give it to Crystal. But I don't think she wants to store things any more than any of us want to store things, so Look at that butterfly. What makes you tag? I think that's, isn't that like a Walmart or a Target brand? He is super cool though. Cause like, who doesn't love a butterfly dish? I think I will get him. Oh, we will take a little cruise down the plastics. See what uh, we find. Hmm. Nothing calling to me. Nothing calling to me tonight, except maybe a pirate skull. No, it's not a pirate. Oh, okay. Cut. Okay. Can't show that. It had a naughty, naughty word on it. I really don't like that. I mean, I'm not a prude or anything. I just don't think it's necessary. It's just not necessary. Spatulart Halloween cupcake molds. They're silicone. She kind of groovy. And we have a sunflower set. That is a weird feeling porcelain. Five, four, four, and eight. Yeah, just can't do it. I mean, to sell the set would be five nine it would be sixteen dollars to sell this for maybe maybe 25 to 30 at the most that just doesn't work for resellers that's just like a painted on dish that one is recycled glass kind of a heavy piece to be shipping unfortunately because it's really pretty look at the back that's a it's a nice piece, just uh, a little too a little too big for me to deal with. Oh, those are not very high quality at all. <laughs> Can see it all the way from back here. Oh gosh, resist the pumpkin terrain, Danny. Resist the pumpkin terrain. I did it. I did it. I got past it. Kind of a sucker for those HD designs. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, let's see here. It's kind of a cool looking, cool looking bottle, but nothing too exciting. I think this little Hawaii dish is actually vintage. And it's only 69 cents, so I'll grab that. Give a little cruise through the cooking small appliances. Yeah, nothing tonight. All right, more kitcheny stuff. What is that? Over ice brew, rich brew, classic brew. Okay, someone explain the over ice brew. What's the difference between that and iced coffee? Because apparently there is a difference and Noah told me that I got him the wrong coffee maker that did just what that last one did, but it wasn't right. It wasn't right because he wants iced coffee and I don't understand the whole thing because I'm not even a coffee drinker. So if somebody could explain that to me down in the comments, I would be very appreciative so that I can fully understand this whole coffee making thing. Oh, are you full? You're a full thing of paint for $1.99? Can't tell. I feel like that's not full. So we will leave that one. And we'll keep looking through the mishy mashy stuff. Promises from God for women. A few little cards. What are you? Let's see. Come on. Oh, you opened that way. You are truly a wonderful person. 
I pray that God will be kind to you and will bless you with peace. Those are kind of sweet. For $1.99, I think I'll grab those. Flashcards for construction documents and services. Apparently, if you're getting some kind of licensing for... I don't know what test that's for. Huh. Something in the construction industry, apparently. All right, any office supplies this time? Last time I, oh, look, more paper in bright colors to make signage. I love it. But I'd really like to find more uh, things like I found last time that were like the um, bags and things. Who's Dash Mart? Dash Mart. He's like a, he's like a sandwich from Dash Mart. I don't know. Okay. I don't know, buddy. I don't know who you are. What are these? Oh, those are like those little club, clubbies. Cubbies that you put into cubicles. I have a very blonde wig. Do we need more wigs for our mannequins? I don't know. I don't know if we do. I don't think we do. Oh, it's like Lady Gaga. That's funny. I don't think we need to be Lady Gaga. Oh, we'll look through the sports stuff a little bit. Look, see, because you never know what somebody's going to flop over in a section that where it doesn't belong. So I look at every single section in the store. This store does have a lot of mishy-mashy. Is this a game or a puzzle? Oh. Or a lunchbox. It's a lunchbox. You know, I actually have a friend who uh, I think would appreciate this. Although, I don't know, it's not in great condition. Hmm. If she's watching, I'm at the Sahara store. John, the inflatable friend. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, you just never know what you're going to find in Goodwill. You just never know. Which is kind of the fun of it all, right? Never have I ever. Conversation starters and fun facts. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Let's see what's in the box. Ah, uh, nothing's in the box. It was a little vintage box. But five bucks. Alright, I don't see anything else too exciting here. Alright, peeking through the pillows here. That's pretty. Fall tree. It's like an outdoor pillow too. Oh, do you have mushrooms? Your fall theme. No, it was pumpkins. Oh, these are kind of nice. Little kind of macrame looking pillows, but they're not super clean. All right, I. who are these people? Who is this? Oh, and then it goes that way. I don't know who that is, but I feel like he now has a mustache. Maybe. Come on. Come on, you gotta let me give him a mustache on both sides. What are you doing? What are you doing, Pillow? Oh, it's defective. It won't let me give him a mustache. All right. All right. Maybe some big, maybe some big eyebrows? There we go. Let's dress him up a little bit. There. <laughs> Gosh, he looks like the devil now. Let's look here at the tablecloths because Tablecloths can be like a little bit of a sleeper. There are some tablecloths worth a whole lot of money. And uh, you are very likely to find them at a Goodwill because they just generically price tablecloths as tablecloths. Oh look, these guys are still here and they're still really nice. Bed skirts, sheets, curtains, 
We don't need any of that. Pillowcases. Nope, nothing exciting. Okay, we're in the plush and this caught my eye. It's like a robot. Who makes you robot? Do you have a tushy tag somewhere? You do not have a tushy tag somewhere. All right. Oh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna deal with you tonight. Another night we might have, but not tonight. Hmm, I don't see anything else too exciting here. Maybe, what are you? You have a ball inside there. Just this toy factory. Okay. Okay. He's cool. He looks like a water dragon. He is a fiesta. It's got a little bit of snagging on there. I don't know. What do you think? Yes, he he's cool, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use a little discipline tonight. And I am gonna leave the plush. I mean, he's cool, but he's not like super expensive or anything. But I need to just be looking for like super expensive right now. All right, now we're over in the furniture and the big stuff, seeing if there's anything cool we can use for the store. I'm not sure I am going to get through here. They have this locked. I will have to back back out. All right, we'll look on this side. And then from here, we will take a peek at the art. All right, nothing super exciting. Oh, let's take a peek over there at the lamps. You see the rooster, rooster school. I bought several rooster lamps and they've sold okay. But I'm more interested in this big old shell. Oh, unfortunately, there's a lot of damage there. That's too bad. That was a nice, that was a nice shell. Just that, just that conch shell on its own would have been a nice find. But no, but too much damage. All right, I'm peeking through the art. I just priced so much art tonight at the store. I'm a little, I'm a little arted out. So it would have to be really, really super special for me to bring it home tonight. And nothing's even telling me look further. I'm just not really being pulled in that direction. I see some kind of bamboo looking, oh, they're mirrors. I really like to deal with mirrors. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here that's really tempting me. I mean, this is pretty, but it's big. It's missing the glass. I'll leave that for somebody else to deal with. All right, let's give the purses a one over, a one over, <laughs> a once over, and see if we got anything special here tonight. That looks like real snakeskin. I think it is. Definitely feels like real reptile. Hmm. How much is that? $5.99? You know what? That's kind of cool. I think I will pick that one up. I've seen like a Dooney with that print on it. This one's XOXO. Trying to copy Dooney. Oh, I see something. I will go back to it in a second that I think I have to get for Carrie. But this little purse caught my eye. Andrea? It's Andrea. And you? Of course, you know it's the color that's grabbing me. Let's see. Are you a one-handed purse? Oh, you got a zipper too? <laughs> Here, this is where knees, knees come in handy. I just see a big C. I wonder if that's Charming Charlie. Oh, look, it's got the, um, it's got the, um, theft tag still in it. Uh-oh. This, though, is what I was looking up because Carrie loves anything Route 66 to put in her booth. So I'm going to pick this one up for Carrie. All right, I think I'm going to go check out and call it a night. Stay tuned for the recap. I'm going to tell you everything I bought, how much it's worth, 
and what I paid for it. That is coming up right now. Another shopping trip in the books and I found some really good things I'm pretty excited about that birdhouse now I got to decide do I sell it do I keep it do I sell it do I keep it? it's always a struggle to figure that out a couple of personal items for the store all in all a very enjoyable profitable trip so hope you will hit that subscribe button and come back for the next one until then you Go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.